can draw the sun or the stars and the moon. I can draw anything. How about you? Ready, set, draw! Hi, I'm Kristen Baluch. I'm the author and illustrator of One Million Trees. One Million Trees is a story about my family planting trees in Canada. One day, my mom and dad decided to take me, my sisters, and our dog, Wonder Dog, to Canada to plant trees. And my dad planted trees, and sometimes I helped him. And my mom was a cook, and sometimes I helped her. And she cooked inside of a cook shack. A cook shack is a truck outfitted with a kitchen inside of it. So it has a refrigerator, a sink, a stove, a counter to cook on. So today, I wanted to make a cook shack with you. For this project, you'll need a big piece of paper that's a little thicker than regular paper, and some paint, a brush, a pencil, a marker. You can use post-its in different colors, and colored paper, and a glue stick, and some scissors. Are you ready? Ready, set, draw! And paint and collage. First, we're gonna start by painting the background and leaving the center part of the paper empty within the shape of the truck for the cook shack. And then we'll use that part to put all of our drawing and all of our collage inside of. So any paint will do. This is an old house paint. So I just finished that background painting. Can you see the truck? Here's the cab, and here's the base of the truck. It's a little bit angled because the truck also has a roof. We have yet to put the wheels on it. This is called negative space. We're using negative space so that we have a blank canvas to put all the detail of our drawing and collage on so that they won't interfere with those elements. So let's start with drawing and draw some details. First, let's draw the wheels. And I'm using a pencil and drawing a circle for the wheel, and then I can add some details. The hubcap, and just a little design around it. Now I'm gonna draw the second wheel. Just a circle, and then the hubcap. The hubcap is another circle and then some design around it. And here's the last circle. And here's the hubcap, another circle, and then this is almost like a flower in the center. Okay, let's draw the cab. So this is called the cab. A cab is where the people sit. And first, I'm gonna draw the door. So this is the door that the driver gets in. And here's the windshield. And here's the headlights. Another circle, another circle, and the bumper. And a little grill across the front. Maybe some windshield wipers. There's the cab. Now, the roof of the cook shack. So I'm gonna leave this open like the side of it is completely off so you can see inside. Here's the floor, which is sort of like a long rectangle. And the front of the truck. Let's put a little window here. And another one here. How does that look? The cook shack is outfitted with a kitchen, so it has a refrigerator, some feet for the refrigerator, and a handle so you can open the door. How about a sink? 
here's the faucet. And a stove. Here's a little clock on the stove. And the burners, which are kind of ovals with the little crosses inside of them. Here's the oven. I think we're going to use the oven today. All right, what else should we make? How about a counter? It's good to have counter space to cook on. And then some drawers. Then let's have a bin for our compost. It's nice to save your compost and put it back in the ground so it nourishes the earth again. We'll write compost so you know what it is. Compost. So when my mom was cooking in the cook shack, I would help her by making apple pie and other desserts. Let's put together all the things we need for apple pie. So we're gonna use colored paper or post-its and a marker. So what do we need first to make apple pie? I think we need a bowl because we need to mix the dough. There's a bowl. And how about some flour? And some butter. Let's use another color. How about some orange? And make an apple. Maybe a couple apples. And apples are sort of roundish, but they can be really any sort of round will work. Sometimes they're lumpy even. What else do we need to make pie? Oh, cinnamon. Let's use another color. Here's some cinnamon sticks. but you're gonna need a grater to make ground cinnamon. So let's give you a planer. So this has a handle and usually a hole to hang up the handle. And then all this, it's made of metal here. And then it has little holes with the metal sticking out that rasp against the cinnamon. Also good for lemon to make lemon zest. Let's draw some lemons. I like to put lemon zest in my pie crust. What else goes in to an apple pie? Sugar, cup of sugar, a measuring cup for water, and here's an empty measuring cup for the flour. We need the pie tin. Oh, and the pastry masher. It's to mash the butter and the flour together. I think we need milk to drink with the apple pie. glass of milk and a container of milk. We need a knife to cut the apples. And let's put some pots and pans in the cook shack too. Here's a frying pan. I think that's good. Let's start cutting these out and pasting them down in our cook shack. So let's cut all these pieces out now.
There! All our ingredients are cut out now and ready to be glued down into the cook shack. Are you ready? Use your glue. You cover the entire back. There's the pastry masher to make the crust and smooth it down. And here's the bowl to make the crust in. Mix everything in the bowl. The butter, the flour, We'll use this measuring cup for just a little bit of water. Here's a pot, because all cook shacks should have a pot. And a frying pan. and some sugar. Here's the cinnamon. And an empty measuring cup. And here's the lemon. This is the knife to cut the apples up with. Let's put this pie dish down and then we'll make the roller. Here's the rolling part and then the handles. That will make the dough nice and flat so it fits into the pan. Let's get back to gluing the other pieces. Here's the milk. I'm gonna put it on top of the refrigerator. And a couple glasses to put the milk in. I know what we forgot. We forgot plates and a fork. Do you want a piece of pie? Well, you better make your plates and forks then. and one for your friend, too. Pie always tastes better when it's shared with a friend. There we go. Your cook shack is completely outfitted to make an apple pie. I'd love to see what you made. Post your pictures with the hashtag ReadySetDraw. This has been so much fun. Bye-bye.